There are many underrated and underappreciated Brazilian percussion instruments, but today I want to look at just a couple of them that I think are underrated, specifically in the world of samba. There are so many other niche and underappreciated instruments that come from Brazil in the world of percussion, but I'm just going to look at the ones that samba today. That way I'm a bit more focused rather than talking about all these crazy percussion instruments many of which I don't actually have. Some of these I've covered in more detail on the channel before, some of these I've never talked about on the channel before. By underappreciated, I guess I mean outside of Brazil. In Brazil, you'll find many people playing these instruments, many of whom will be playing solely one of these instruments and being an absolute master at it. Uh, many people outside of Brazil tend not to play these instruments to the same standard or quite as well, whereas you'll find lots of people, say, playing hepiki, at the standard of very experienced Brazilians who have grown up in that culture, or sudo or caixa, where some of these instruments, I feel like there's still a way to go for people wanting to learn these things. I'm saying this as someone who isn't very, very proficient at any of these instruments. I like playing them. I use them frequently in recordings and band situations as a percussionist, but I'm no master of any of them. With all that said and done, let's get into it. The first one, is the most special one. It's the kuika. The kuika is an amazing instrument that I've covered in a bit more detail here on the channel already, so you can find a link to that in the description or in the top corner of the video. But basically, it is quintessential Brazilian percussion. It's a friction drum, so it works by rubbing a wet cloth against the bamboo stick to create a kind of growling sound. Then you add tension with your other hand onto the skin and that changes the pitch. The origins of this instrument come to us from Africa where it was much larger in construction and was used to hunt lions. However, in many Escolage Sambas and many blocos and even in many Horage Sambas and whatever, like wherever you go to hear Samba, you're gonna hear a Kawika more often than not in Brazil. It's a really unforgiving instrument when you're trying to learn because it's very easy to apply too much pressure and just pull the stick out and you've broken the drum. There are ways to reapply the stick if the skin is intact. Um, I just don't risk it. I don't really let any of my students play the Kuika <laughs> because it's the only one I've got and it's broken. So I want to preserve it. Kuika is an instrument I want to learn more about and study more in depth. So stay tuned for more revelations about that as the years go by. Up next is Heko Heko. I've also got a dedicated video to Heko Heko here on the channel. Heko Hekos are Brazilian scraper instruments. They have the same Afro-diasporic roots as Guira and Guiro that you can find elsewhere in South America. The Heko Heko can be made of metal like this one, or it can also be made of bamboo. You find Heko Heko in lots of other styles, including Fojo, but you'll hear it a lot in Samba, particularly in like Pagogi, Horage Samba, smaller, less loud groups. And the Heko Heko usually fills the sort of role of the Kai shot. It's adding a lot of swing. It's being the kind of driving engine of the Samba in a smaller context. Third, we have Agogoji Castanha. Castanha means nut. This is a nut agogo. This, I love this sound so much. You'll hear this also in Horage Sambas, smaller, more intimate kind of sounds. Smaller, often more intimate musical settings. And they're less aggressive than a metal agogo, but fulfill the same role. Still playing lots of nice grooves over two kind of tones mainly. This one was made by my friend and karaoke legend, Marco Sheena, incredible luthier of all things percussion. Definitely check them out if you're ever in Rio. I use this a lot instead of jam blocks, actually. Whilst jam blocks are practically indestructible pieces of percussion, I actually like the sound of these a little bit better, even though this actually matches my blue jam block wherever it is. Next, we have, yes, a frying pan. This is the frigideira. Literally translates as frying pan. It's so common in Brazil that music is just sort of everywhere in a way that we don't get in most of Europe or North America. This resulted in lots of people using whatever they had around them to make music and take part. Lots of people instead of heco heco will use uh, prato e fraca, a plate and a knife, to imitate a heco heco. 
and create those swings. Lots of people would play the frigidera, play their frying pan. And so it became a thing from lots of manufacturers like my friends at Contemporanea to make uh, frying pans that are safe to play and aren't gonna you know, be ruined for cooking. Lots of Escologist Sambas will use the Frigidera, uh, like Rosas de Ouro in Sao Paulo. They have a whole Frigidera section. It's played with like a plastic stick with like a kind of hard plastic ball in the end and it's super, super loud. I generally use this a lot with just normal wooden drumstick in percussion setups, as well as with brushes. With brushes, it kind of creates this really lovely, I don't know, I don't know how to describe this sound. It's just really nice and mellow, but also really bright. Last, but by no means least, we have Caixa de Fósforo. Caixa de Fósforo, this is also made by Marco Schina. Similarly to the Frigidera, Brazilians are great at just using whatever they have around them to make music. And the Caixa de Fósforo is no exception. Caixa de Fósforo translates to matchbox. So at a horror de samba, you would have people playing like teleco teco, or other tambourine parts with a matchbox. It could also act as a shaker. And so now, because people tend not to use matches so much for smoking or lighting things, they more often than not, a lot of people have lighters. You don't have matchboxes around. So people start making these little boxes instead. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've got any of these instruments in your setup and how you use them. I'd love to know. For those who are regular viewers of the channel, you'll notice I'm trying different things and just seeing what works. So let me know if you're a regular viewer.